Hey guys, how's it going? Android versus iOS here coming at you with an app review today. Today's app review is on the Android platform and it's called Launcher Pro. This app is originally free in the Android market, but if you pay a $1.99 premium fee, you can unlock all the features and get the full version. Let's get started. Now you may be wondering, what's a launcher? Well, a launcher is where all your apps, your widgets, and your dock is stored. Also your app drawer, which is where you can access all of your applications. What makes Launcher Pro so much better? Well, let me give you just a rundown of what I'm rocking right here. So first off, I have this custom dock. In this custom dock, I kind of have a Froyo setup right here with the phone and then the internet, as well as the app drawer. Now instead of the dots, which I can do, I have messaging and market, because I'd rather use those. And when you scroll through, you can see it's really smooth. Now you may have noticed my rows right here. I have five rows going on right here. One, two, three, four, five. Instead of the default four. Now, you may be wondering, well, I use screen pre previews, which are the dots. How would I get to those? Well, the thing about Launcher Pro, it has full leap support. Now, I only have five home screens set up right now, and actually two of them are blank because I haven't figured out what to put on them yet. You can actually use up to seven and as little as one. You can also change the default screen. So say you wanted an iOS type option and wanted to set the first screen to be first, you can do that. But if you wanted the one all the way over here to be the first one, you can do that as well. Now you may notice at the bottom, when I scroll through, you get that little line telling you what screen you're on. That's also convenient. Now say you wanted to change your dock, you just touch and hold on any of these icons and change your shortcut. You can do blank applications and all these different other things. As I said before, you can do the home screen dots. You can make more than one app drawer if you want. That's up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and change this back to messaging just to show you how it's done. Go into your applications. Go ahead and scroll through until you find your messaging. Now you can use the default messaging app icon or you can go into your Launcher Pro icons and choose the messaging one, which gives you a nice transparent look. Now there's another cool feature about the dock and I'll show you. If you head into your preferences and your dock settings, you can choose the amount of docks you want and go ahead and restart to refresh it. See so now you can scroll through your docks and you can have as many as you want and you can touch these icons to add more. Now if you don't want those, you can simply turn it off by heading back in your preferences, your dock settings, and setting them to one. And so you can do many other things with Launcher Pro. Now on the Droid X and the Droid 2 by Motorola, you get this red outline on your menu options and your app icons. Well, I kind of wanted that, so this is what I did. I set it up so when you touch something, you get a red outline as you see there. See the red outline? You can change that outline color to what you want, which is very cool. To do that, you go into your dock settings, appearance settings, and your highlight style and color. You can do many different things. For example, I have outline, which is what the regular Android and the Droid X use. Now, I'm not gonna go through absolutely everything, but I wanted to mention one more thing. You can have app swipe gestures, which means that anything on the dock you can set to do a swipe gesture and for example I simply set up a full screen option if you slide that up you go into full screen which is pretty cool also the app drawer very very smooth as you can see now I'm gonna go ahead and do a speed comparison of the screens between this and stock Android So yeah, this has been my app review for Launcher Pro, so I highly recommend you go check it out and check out all the settings. The Elite feature and everything else is just, it's awesome. I highly, I highly recommend this to any Android owner. I've actually set up a few Droid Xs with this over the default Moto Blur, because the Moto Blur is pretty choppy, as you might know. So yeah, go check this out. It's free at first, and then if you want your custom widgets, you can uh, pay the $199 premium fee. So I highly recommend you go check it out. Thanks for watching.